And first this noon, tragedy for another family of an American journalist. The White House confirming that a video showing the beheading of Stephen Sotloff is authentic. And today, President Obama vowed to capture those responsible. ABC's Karen Travers has more in our top story. For the second time in just two weeks, President Obama somberly addressed the execution of another American journalist by ISIS. Steve's life stood in sharp contrast to those who murdered him so brutally. The president said horrific killings of innocents like Stephen Sotloff and James Foley will only stiffen American resolve against this violent extremist group. We will not be intimidated. British authorities said this morning that Sotloff's hooded executioner appears to be the same British accented speaker that beheaded James Foley last month. I'm back, Obama. Investigators are comparing the voices from the two ISIS execution videos, as well as looking at the scenery, the speaker's use of his left hand to hold the knife, and his eyes. In Estonia today, President Obama laid down some rather tough talk about ISIS. Our objective is clear. And that is to degrade and destroy ISIL so that it's no longer a threat, not just to Iraq, but also to the region and to the United States. But just two minutes later, a significant backtrack. Our objective is to make sure that ISIL is not a ongoing threat to the region. And 15 minutes after that, even further back. We can continue to shrink ISIL's uh, sphere of influence. Uh, to the point where uh, it is a manageable problem. President Obama was vague about any timeline for U.S. military action in Syria, where ISIS has flourished. He said it will take time to build a coalition and coordinate allies. Karen Travers, ABC News, Washington.